Yeah. Frenchie's in the hospital again. <laughs> it happens. But it's time for the origin story, right? It's Motivation Monday, and I think that this message is going to help somebody. Because not only am I in the hospital again, it is Super Cell Awareness Month. And I'm in the hospital in Sacramento, California. So for those of you that don't know, I'm from Hartford, Connecticut, over 3,000 miles away. And the only reason I'm able to sit here and do this, as sick as I am, as much pain as I'm in, is because of the fact I was given an opportunity. And I want to say thank you to Robert Rios, to Derek Whitehead for the opportunity you guys gave me because I am more than blessed in life thanks to you too. Dr. Jones and everyone else as well. But this is mainly focus on these guys right now. Right. So I'm gonna break down real quick, real fast and real passionately about my word story. Those of you that don't know, I've done martial arts since I was five years old as physical therapy for the sickle cell. I am now working on my second school in the West Coast, let alone my school back in the East Coast. Right? And all of this happened because, you know, my message today is about being open minded. All of this happened because I decided to be open. One day, right? So, for those of you that know me, you already knew. I was working four jobs, full time, making no type of bread. Let's be honest, I wasn't. And I was being evicted over my disability apartment over a hundred dollars. A hundred dollars. They had a sheriff at my door and everything. You want to know what got me into the job I'm in now? Where y'all see me on the picture? on the yachts and in the hotels and traveling and doing everything it was because i went to the state building and there was a man with an ankle bracelet on talking about do you want a free phone <laughs> so i'm not rude enough to throw the paper away he literally had me this bit this bit You know, 100, 400 plus a week if you wanted a job. I'm not rude enough to throw it away in his face, but uh, if those of you that really know me, you know I'm an old school church boy, closeted, didn't really experience much in life. All I know is sin is bad, any sin is bad, and everything else is good, right? So I see a man with ankle bracelet. I'm instantly go, oh my God, what happened, Lord? Oh Jesus, why did you put me in this situation? Excuse me. So, let's get to the point, right? Man hands me a piece of paper. I put it in my pocket. I handle my business. Sheriff is now knocking on my door, and I'm sitting here freaking out. Like, what am I going to do? I need the $100 to pay this rent so I don't get a good deal. My family won't help me. My friends won't help me. I don't know what to do. I'm freaking out. I decide to say, what's the fifth job, right? What's the fifth job? Because I was just told recently by my supervisor that I'm selfish for calling out because I was sick. I was literally comatose in an ambulance. Oh. On my way to the hospital. But I'm selfish for calling out sick. Story for another day. Whatever. So, like I said, I tried this next job. In my first week, I made what I made in a month with all four jobs combined. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is my black man and me said, let me get deuces to the two most problematic jobs. Keep the other job in the back just in case. And go from there, right? So I do that. And upon that... I happen to be there at work one day when the CEO decided to make a surprise visit. This man decides to tell me, hey, how long have you done martial arts? I think that's pretty cool, right? And I told him it's anywhere between 16 to 18 years. He was like, well, you know, if you gave us that type of dedication, you would really go places in life. I looked 
looked at him like, yeah, okay. No, I, I was like, you know how sick I am, right? He's like, yeah, but you're working, right? I was like, yeah, but I'm sick. He's like, okay, but you can work. I was like, Somebody that doesn't actually want to abuse my sickness for once? Someone that doesn't need me for a publicity stunt? Someone that doesn't care that I have sickle cell? All I have to do is work? It's every hard-working Jamaican's dream. Oh my god. <laughs> Let me speed this up because I know y'all want to go. So, at the end of the day, I said, all right, I'll, I'll give you that dedication. But understand, the dedication I give martial arts is the same dedication I give to church. I hold that to my heart, my spirit, my soul. Dr. Jones is the man that damn near raised me. Grandmaster Anwar Jones is another father. And I record this video on September 22nd because guess what? That's my father's birthday. He passed, and frankly, I feel like someone needs a motivational message. So, because I decided to embrace myself in this job, I quit all the other jobs, put myself fully here, brought my girl in with me, who's not my wife at the time. Shout out to you, love you, baby, all that. You know, brought my girl in. Tell me. why I'm not even six months into this job and the CEO decides to not only pay for our honeymoon he paid for the hotel resort casino spa the works Robert Reels found this random little black kid in Hartford Connecticut riddled with sickness and disease and said I like your work ethic I'll pay for your honeymoon. Thank you once again for that. So now I keep going over everything that's happening in life and I'm bumping heads with people, everything's happening. And all I can think of is, wow, like every step I take continues to happen specifically because of the fact that I'm open-minded or I try to be open-minded. from him if I wasn't trying to be rude. I never would have sat there and took the time to talk to Bobby if I never was sitting here trying to just understand, if I wasn't just trying to learn, you know, see why this business is so different. School didn't teach me anything about commission. I went to college, man. I lost my financial aid because I had surgery. They never once said, oh, Mission jobs are, are something that you can survive off of, that you can thrive off of, you know? Like, the next time someone knocks on your door and offers you a free phone or talks to you about lights or whatever the case may be, take the time to learn about these people because they have a wonderful opportunity in front of them. That school just never took the time to give us a fair shot to say there's more than one way to be an entrepreneur. So now here I am in Sacramento, California, in the hospital. But guess what? Am I mad? Am I sad? No. I'm in pain. I'm here. But I can rest knowing that my team has been handling everything to the T. My team, my wife, my teammates, all my people that have been there, they have everything to the T. I am working on my third office. My goal is to be CEO. I Next year's Christmas. I'm working on my third office and my second school, and it's all thanks to these two men, Robert Rios and Derek Whitehead. Derek, who decided to say you've been in this business so long and you haven't become a senior advisor yet, I'm going to take you under my wing and I guarantee you'll be senior advisor. He told the truth. He was a... Man of his word, and I got it. 
I say I'm the most successful, most paid guy out here, but I'm building and I'm learning because I got an opportunity from two men. Matter of fact, I'll even give props to Nate Susie, who originally sat there that was supposed to guide us. But I got the proper guidance. I've had some ups, I've had some downs. I've had so much that's happened to me in life, but at the end of the day, I'm in California. I am over 3,000 miles away from home because a man looked me in the eye and said, I will give you an opportunity. It is up to you to make something of it. So for my Motivation Monday, my message to everyone, everyone is be open minded. Those of you that want a job, guess what? I'm hiring in Connecticut, hiring in San Francisco, and Sacramento. You call me and you will have a job this week. No questions will be asked. Thank you to everyone who's been there to support me, help me build in all this time. Everyone who's helped me thrive. And even to all the people who've hated on me and sent me evilness and spitefulness. Because I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of my experiences. So thank you to the haters, thank you to the lovers. Thank you to my beautiful wife who's been by my side. And thank you again, Robert Mills, Derek Whitehead, PMA and AMG will always be in my heart and soul because you guys were the only ones willing to take on this sick kid from Connecticut. Thank you.